produce a new product that they will market and present to a panel of judges who will decide which team has the best product. We hear so much in the news about what students do or don't learn at school, but this is a great chance for them to work with local people who are mentoring them from business. The sort of skills that young people need in business are really those kind of key employability skills. So you're looking at problem solving, be able to work as a team, but also then be able to work in your, as your own in an individual environment, be able to challenge yourself and push yourself forwards. And they're really the sort of things that are hard to learn from a textbook or in the classroom, the things you have to really go out there and do. And I think that's what's fantastic about today. The mentors and the people involved are real life business people and employers. We're making a grow box and basically you can send it to third world countries who need it the most. You can send it to schools who want to start growing and you can also send it to hospitals to make things a bit light to place. We're trying to make a three-dimensional computer with a king, queen, princess and dragon. It's something we call mood me. It's like a little customizable person that you have on a pen. Our product is a storage box. It's like a storage box that uh, the parents buy for the children and as they go through life they like take the pictures and dates like for example when they started walking and stuff like that, they're like personal achievements. If we can just switch a light on just that little bit and start to ignite that fuse and, and move them in a slight direction from purely being educated to having some of the life skills to being able to deal with situations like this, it's going to be fantastic. The group that I've got today uh, are quite remarkable in terms of analysing the products in front of them, the innovation ideas are coming out. I wanted to be in the SAS. And I think being here is opening our life up to a lot more opportunities and experiencing what it's like to be when we move into the future. We've decided to make a water filter type of thing. Well, one problem we did have was how to advertise in third world countries. We've got to send a team out there to um, do face to face advertising. I thought it was a great opportunity to work with some year 9 and 10 uh, students, really look at their ideas in terms of new product development and today's been just amazing, it really has. You get to hear other people's ideas and it's more productive than if you're on your own. Coming up with the price and things for you, it was really, really hard to figure out. I think it's going really well, the teams are working really well to listen to each other. There's, good, there's lots of good teamwork going on. I hope they take away the fact that, that business can be fun. I hope they take away that they remember the day really, whether they won or lost. It was difficult to think of a new product that was different to what everyone else would be doing and also with the limited resources that we had, that's quite challenging. My team are amazing, uh, they're from South Axome. Um, I've got some really willing and able students. Um, they're really passionate about what they're doing, they're coming up with some great ideas and I can't wait for you to see their pitch. We're a bit nervous about doing the actual pitch, but we think we're quite well organised and we're ready for it, but hopefully it'll go well. <laughs>
Today's Bizza Day has been superb. The students have been a hive of activity to watch the mentors both from the Careers Academy at Franklin and from the business sectors across the area helping has been just fantastic. For the region to develop, to expand, to prosper, we need fantastic employees, fantastic leaders, we need entrepreneurs and we need help to get those students from education into business.